This is one of my favorite tree species that's most common in southwestern and western Ohio where the soils are not as acidic, they're more basic, they have a limestone or shale substrate. It's called Kentucky coffee tree. It's one of only a few tree species that has a bipinnately or twice pinnately compound leaf. These leaves are alternate, so they alternate sides of the twig, but you'll have a central rachis, and then you'll have these sub rachi or rachises that go off to each side. Leaves can be very large. They can get up to three feet in length. We're very early in the growing season, so these leaves are not fully mature. Other species that can have bipinnately or twice pinnate compound leaves include honey locust, which has this kind of leaf and a pinnately compound leaf on the same tree and devil's walking stick, which is infrequent, occurs in southeastern Ohio. But again, bipinnately compound leaves can be very large, lots and lots of leaflets, probably close to 100 or more on a large mature tree. Something you may not think about, but if it's got that large of a leaf, it's going to take a very large twig to support it. So in the winter, you're going to have very fat twigs on mature trees. Even when the trees um, appear dead, they're alive. It's just that the twigs are so large because it has to support such large leaves. It's in the bean family, so it'll have these pods. Uh, they're not as long as the honey locust pods. They're going to be short pods up to eight inches in length, very fat, very broad, and they'll have lots of little or actually relatively large seeds, very hard seeded. Um, this tree was actually grown from a seed. Uh, my daughter did some germination studies and treated the seeds and uh, this thing got started from a seed as part of a science fair project. My favorite part of this tree is probably the bark. The bark exfoliates or peels off and even on a large tree it has this very unique appearance to it. Um, it'll get kind of salmon pink in the underside of it as well. Uh, very infrequently used but a beautiful tree when it's used in a landscape setting and largely because of that texture. Again, these leaves are not fully mature. They're just uh, not developed yet because we're pretty early in the growing season. But if you look out on the branch tip, that is all one big leaf out on the branch tip of that uh, section that's right in the center of the screen. A little bit more of a close-up of the bark. Big fat twigs, these aren't as big as they might be on a mature tree. And the buds are really, again, not very descriptive because uh, they're kind of sunken and right below the leaf or right below the surface of the twig this is kentucky coffee tree